So you probably noticed a bit of a theme going on with my uh, colored laces. Um, and if you read my Instagram posts, you'll see that I'm supporting cancer research. This is um, something that I put on my Instagram stories every couple days, which shows uh, exactly um, what colors relate to which cancer. And I encourage everybody to uh, do the same. Um, cancer is something that I think is something is is one of those diseases that impacts all of us to to some degree or another, and so I continue to support it year after year, and really use the month of September as uh, the primary push for for me. And I hope you'll join me in uh, trying to uh, find a cure, and uh, and help all of those family members, loved ones, and friends that are in need uh, of help during this difficult time. That said, um, one of the things I wanted to do in this video is really just talk about what is a spade sole. So this is a pair of Yosol Thompsons that I had made with a spade sole. And the spade sole itself is the way it comes up here and goes out a little bit. Um, some people will say that it's the, um, uh, the, the actual, that it has a narrow waist and so forth, but that doesn't necessarily constitute a spade sole. Uh, when you're ordering shoes with a spade sole, the difference between this little corner here and not is really the difference that you'll see on how they produce the shoe. So now whether, and you can see it's on the side too. So it's just that angle on both sides that's a little bit larger. Now that's part of the reason why they don't charge more for it because really it's not a huge difference but it does have a very, very cool difference uh, for those of us wearing the shoes. And not that you can see it, but you just know it. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. If you have a different take on what this means and what you expect when you order spade soles on your shoes, let me know. I'm very interested to share in your experience.